Usually we have no control over the sample size of a data set. However, if we are able to set the sample size, as in cases where we are taking a survey, it is very helpful to know just how large it should be to provide the most information. Sampling can be very costly in both time and product. Simple telephone surveys will cost approximately $30, for example. If we go back to our standardizing formula for the sampling distribution for means, we can see that it is possible to solve for n. If we do this, we have x bar minus mu in the denominator. Because we have not taken the sample yet, we do not know any of the variables in the formula, except we can set z alpha to the level of confidence we desire, just as we did when determining confidence intervals. If we set a predetermined acceptable error for the difference between x bar and mu, called e in the formula, we are much further along in solving the sample size. We still do not know the population standard deviation sigma. In practice, a pre-survey is usually done, which allows for a fine-tuning of the questionnaire and will give a sample standard deviation that can be used. In other cases, previous information from other surveys may be used for sigma in the formula. While crude, this method of determining the sample size may help in reducing costs significantly. It will be the actual data gathered that determines the inferences about the population, so caution in the sample size is appropriate, calling for high levels of confidence and small sampling errors.